Oh god, my noise is so itchy. Do you have any boogers up there, guys? Any bats in the cave? So, another one gone, eh? Maybe it's destiny. When you become a social media person, you suddenly want to have intercourse with everyone under the age of 18. You know it's sad when I saw this and it was a 42-year-old messaging a 17-year-old. And I was like, oh, you know what? That's actually not bad. I was expecting like a 13-year-old or something. That's how you know it happened so much that I was expecting this minor to be not even through puberty yet. And I thought a 17-year-old was like, oh, good job. Hey, I almost said I almost made it. So his name's Dr. Disrespect or something. He has another name, but I don't know how to pronounce it. He was banned in 2020 off of Twitch and no one really knew why. In 2024, June 22nd, his name is Cody Connors. Oof. He was a former account director of strategic partnerships at Twitch and he came out saying, he didn't even name drop, by the way. He didn't even say it was Dr. Disrespect. He said, and I quote, he got banned because he got caught sexy in a minor in... <sighs> I hate when people don't know how to spell. He got banned because he got caught sexting a minor and then existing Twitch was... You, you can see the photo. That's what that's what he tweeted saying, okay? And then on June 23rd, a day after, Dr. Disrespect was doing a Twitch stream and then he was just like, I'm going to take a break. I'm burnt out. That came out just before his game studio that he co-found announced it will be cutting ties with the stream. The company statement reads, On Friday evening, we became aware of an allegation against one of our co-founders. We assumed his innocence and began speaking with parties involved. And in order to maintain our principles and standards as a studio and individuals, we needed to act. For this reason, we are terminating our relationship with him. I'm not saying that it did happen or it didn't happen because there's no screenshots. I don't have proof. But if his studio that he co-founds comes out and says, yeah, we were on his side and then we talked to the parties involved and now we're cutting ties, that's quite an assumption to make as a studio. So I'm assuming they have something that we don't have. He also has like children and a wife and in 2017 I think he cheated on his wife and then that, that was like a whole scandal in itself apparently he was sexting this minor in 2017 but I don't think they're related I think they're whole different situations because the girl that he cheated on his wife with already came out and like said the whole fucking statement god look cheating <sighs> Cheating, cheating happens. It's not good, but I know all the alpha male podcasters will say it's their biology to cheat because that's what they all say. Cheating is one thing and then sexing a minor is a completely different other thing. Also, the fact that he has a daughter is disgusting, boy. A 42-year-old? That's like a whole different decade. You grew up when they weren't even conceived. You would have been in your 20s by the time they were conceived and in the womb. The 42-year-old then did like a lengthy statement on Twitter admitting that he was texting a minor. He admitted that sometimes it got a little bit like sexual, like a little bit too flirty. You're admitting that on the internet? That is a crazy admission to make. You just sent yourself to jail, sir. Everyone's debating, everyone's going on about how 17, year, like you can legally consent to sex. I think they're focusing too much on the fact that a 17 year old can legally like say yes to having sex with a 42 year old. Not the fact that a 42 year old wants to have sex with a 17 year old. Is that not what we should be focusing on? Is that not insane? Anyway, so now he says nothing illegal happened. Okay. Sneeko, what a lovely, lovely gentleman, defends Dr. Disrespect. If you're 13 years old, edging to Pokimane all day, it's okay. No one thinks that's okay. No one. No one has ever said, mm, I love when a 13 year old does that. But if Dr. Disrespect texts a girl who's 18 years old, 11 months, 364 days, la 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 la, he's the worst person ever. The difference is there's an age limit set on consent because that is to protect the person who's younger, not to protect the 42 year old man who was acting on that, right? If you're 42 and you look at a 17 year old and you think she's hot, whatever. That is your mind. I don't know what goes on in people's mind, but that is your personal choice. That's your preference. You can keep that to yourself in your brain. You don't need to act on that, right? You don't need to tell anyone actually that you think they're attractive. Now, listen closely, okay? Come here. As soon as you then text the 17 year old and sexually explicitly flirt with her, then that's the issue because you are acting on your instincts and that is what's wrong because the law is in place to protect that 17 year old, not to protect you. I think it is weird if you are waiting for a 17 year old to turn 18 to act on something. That is the issue with these kind of guys because they push the idea that like it's okay to wait for a 17 year old to turn 18 for her to have OnlyFans. And also he comments that it's like praise that girls have OnlyFans. No one's praising them. 
I'm not. You're not. That's your whole channel. You hate OnlyFans girls. Women did not protest for us to be able to shove our pussies online. Y'all, my motherfucking camera died. So let's have a look what the other public thinks about this, huh? I feel like docking is content, but unless you were lied to about their age, which feels like it would be mentioned, I don't see why. Yeah, I'm not sure why he even had casual mutual conversations with a 17-year-old woman. Sorry, a 17-year-old girl, because she's not a woman, she's 17. As a 42-year-old man, you were, you're lacking attention for something that's not being addressed in your personal life. No one told me I had a fucking sparkly thing on my lip. You were all fake. Didn't. No. I haven't talked. Tried to be personally tried to hit up Doc at all. No. I haven't talked to him since he got banned. Because I am a logical person. The second Doc got banned on Twitch, my logic kicked in and I said, yep. You don't just get banned random. Damn. Normal male. Thank God. Dr. Disgusting, says Valky Ray. Yuck, says Pokimane. Everyone hates you, but as soon as that second hits midnight, then she can sign up on OnlyFans, sell her body, and then everyone's going to parade around and say, you go, queen. No one says that. No one praises people who are 18 to start OnlyFans and ruin their life. No one praises them besides sad people. <laughs> it literally just is about who you surround yourself with. He surrounds himself with shitty people who sell their body online. He sells himself online. I hope he's very proud with the way that he set up the next generation of men because that's going to be on him and all the other alpha males who does this fucking shit. They are going to be the reason why men won't be able to work in a workplace with women. They're going to think that women need to bow down to men and that women need to be obedient to men, blah, blah, blah. I could talk about this all day, but I'm not going <laughs> to... That's funny. I'm just saying, take everything with a grain of salt, guys. Maybe, maybe, maybe he is innocent. Maybe he was just trying to have a, a nice, wholesome conversation with a 17-year-old woman. I mean... Who am I to say, right? Who am I to say? You know, could you imagine being friends with someone and then they turn out to be a fucking freak? Everyone says that, like, it's something with social media people who just want to have a relationship with kids. I reckon it happens all the time. We just don't see it because we're not involved with each other's lives like that. Who's going to leak messages between your dad and him texting an underage girl? No one. It's not going to go on Twitter. It's not going to start trending it's only when it's people who are like popular or famous that it goes on twitter and it gets leaked like that i reckon it happens all the time we just don't know you know how we run things here Could you imagine? He's so lucky he has glasses on. I'd start fucking bawling. Well, also, I wouldn't text a 17 year old, so. Anyway, just remember your favorite YouTuber is probably a pedophile. Thanks! I love ya!